how do you manage expectations with your higher ups? The classic sales situation is you wanna under promise and over deliver. Right. As an individual contributor, this is your job. Manage expectations. Say I'm gonna bring a, a X and then get X plus 20%. As a manager, when you put yourself in that position of under promising, it puts you in a direct clash with the, the other senior stakeholders. What do you mean? Why are you saying we can only get X? Don't you believe in the product? Don't you believe in the vision? That is very tricky territory for any VP in a commercially minded organization to navigate through. You're spot on. It's a, it's a difficult situation to be in. Uh, you wanna be, I think our, like as a human nature is to want to deliver, right? And we wanna de deliver. And so we wanna commit to a number that is realistic or a growth path that is realistic. First, there is an element of like aligning with your own direct manager. And I think that me and my nature, I'm, I'm realistic, right? So I will always go for the realistic scenario, not the stretch scenario. And I work well with um, direct managers that stretch me, right? That know that they need to stretch me. And so I say, I hear what you're saying, but you need to take another 10% or you need to find a way to, to grow inorganically somehow. And so I think that that actually helps me stretch myself. Um, the way I then cascade it to the team though is that in my and in my view i'm doing this negotiation or this kind of forecasting with my direct manager and then with the other c-level then eventually we're signing off a number once we sign off a number i'm gonna be the biggest believer in it right i'm not gonna go back to the team and say oh we have a restretch we'll never make it. that's just not like yeah, I think it's for any manager, you really have to believe in it, right? If you're not believing it, then your team won't believe in it. So to me, I'm trying to separate between those two processes, do that kind of stretching process with your um, direct manager and the other C levels. And then um, once number a uh, number is docked, it's really just focus on delivering. Like be the, the, be the biggest believer in that number. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult. So there's a time for negotiations and for rationalizing why a certain number should be and but once it has been decided regardless if you agree with it or not you have to start believing in it and the sooner you change your focus from the sooner you you embrace that number the better yeah. um, i've been in situations where i had to downplay what i thought was achievable and i was called out for it like if this is what you're saying maybe we need someone in that role that believes that the number could be twice as big and that's a very challenging situation to be in for a manager it is i agree how did you solve it by the way i didn't um in all honesty i didn't i stayed true to what i thought is possible but uh, it diminished the trust my leadership had in me at the end of that scenario we were only 30 percent of the target anyway okay so that was a yeah. classic startup mistake of just you know shooting for the moon hoping to hit the stars but not actually leaving the atmosphere. 